because per usual we come out and tell the men as men that you know we need to gird up our loins we need to follow these laws statutes and commandments and lead our community in the right example you feel me that is the job of a man especially Israelite man is to lead his community into righteousness so we can only do for so much only though as a man you know you come out here especially us in the truth we come out here week in and week out to wake our people up and yet our people do not want to hearken and yet we continue to come out here because we love doing the work of Yahweh. Yahweh puts it in our spirit to come out here and because we love our people so many of the women do not want to actually listen to us because they hear that it's coming from men that when we tell them to cover up you know stop doing the things that they're doing that's fine okay you don't want to hear from us well why don't you hear from your fellow sisters then but the problem is these women nowadays they don't want to actually take accountability on any of the actions con con so yeah it's just nothing but madness you got a question you got a question What you mean by that? We're supposed to be spread out to the world to the return. To the return, but what do you mean by that? Can you elaborate? Yeah, spread out, but spread out in how? Like the, the you gotta smoke too, hey, you gotta you gotta do that over there. Oh no, I'm on the sidewalk. Well you gotta do that over there, bro. You can't smoke in there. I can do it if I want to, but I can respect y'all and not do it. Okay. Alright. Okay. Real quick, what's your ethnicity? I'm everything. Well, what does that mean? What's your father? 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 Okay, well, let's just go based off the spirit. So, when you mean by be everywhere, are you talking about as in preaching this gospel? No, uh, the Can you prove that? But can you prove it? Book, chapter, verse. You got a, you got a uh, phone, a smartphone? Well, Google it real quick. While you're doing that, we're not Grammy Genesis 49 and 1. Let me get uh, Zeph, Zephaniah 2 and 1. Because we're not supposed to spread out, if, if that's what you mean, in the sense of just being out scattered. Well, let's see what the scriptures say. And 2 and 1, you got Genesis 49 and 1. All right. King James, e, we also do the NIV. King James, yeah, we know he, that he, had, he had 70 people who he authorized from the you know Hebrew and Greek to translate they were scholars sir sir why does that matter if we know that they're scholars they were Greek and Hebrew scholars hold on they were Greek and Hebrew scholars that translated into the English all right well look yeah you saying that we got that the Jews are supposed to be spread abroad till the return okay All right, well, let's see. Hold on, can we read real quick? And you got, you still gotta prove it. You still gotta pull it out. Book, chapter, verse where it says, we gotta be scattered abroad until the return. Go ahead and read that in Genesis. Right, I mean, he said out his own mouth, the synagogue of Satan. It's the book of Genesis chapter 49, verse one. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, gather yourself together. What did he just say? Gather yourself together. That sound like separation? And Jacob called his sons and said, Gather yourself together, that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. In the last days. In the last days. Are we not living in the last days? All right, read. This is Zephaniah 2 and 1. Gather yourselves together. Oh, keep, stay scattered. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation, not desire. So we're supposed to gather ourselves together because nobody desires so-called blacks, Hispanics, and natives. So if you could just look it up for me, sir, what, uh, what your point is. What's your name, by the way? Ryan, okay. So we got Ryan up here, and Ryan's gonna be fine for us. Hey, y'all brothers got a minute for the word? Two minutes. We're trying to wake our people up, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and natives. That y'all the true kings and priests and gods on this earth. All right. So you know, so you tell a black man he's a god on earth. He walk by, call him a bitch ass nigga. He don't want to fight you though. 
And that's the problem with our people. We can't elevate our people, but let you come at them in a, in a you know, demeaning way. And, and that's how you get their attention. Now you get his attention. Call a Hispanic man a king and he just, ah, oh, whatever. But tell him he's en prese and you from another set and now he, you want a beef. We gonna be out for a minute. Well, you say you are, you at work, right? Yeah, you know, so. Yeah, go whenever you got time, man. My name is Adawan. Yeah. My name is Salam. Adawan, what's your name? Yeah. Yeah. So whenever you got time and you can find it, you can come back, talk to us. I know you say you on you at work right now. We ain't trying to, you know, we ain't trying to get you in trouble and whatnot. But yeah, I'll, let me get back to what I was talking about. So the whole, you know, our, all right, no problem. Yeah, hey sister, you got two minutes for a word. See, and once again, that's the problem with our people. So um, let me go back to uh, Deuteronomy twenty-eight and fifty-six. Go back to uh, let me get Syrac twenty-six and one, uh, twenty-five and one, Baba Kasha. So as always, we try to come out, you know, wake our people up, and the first thing that happens is Satan walk up and start just spewing madness. And honestly, you know, we, we, we sick of it. We're sick of sitting here having to see the Edomite people in our faces, Moabite people in our faces, Ishmaelite in our faces, our own people who are bugged out in our faces. It's madness. So yeah, our community is going through a real, hard time right now with these women. And I don't know who in the right mind told y'all that doing all these debaucherous acts makes you look valuable. Because you know, the black woman will sit up here, the Hispanic woman will sit up here and say she's a queen, she's this and that. But if all you do is shake your ass on the internet 24 seven, you have no value. You don't have nothing to offer besides your body and then you want a man to come at you and treat you as, uh, as better than that. If I'm out here on the block with a red bandana screaming two for fives all day, I don't expect the police to come at me and say he's an upstanding citizen. It doesn't make sense. Where are they at? Oh, all we see now is just madness with, with these trash ass sexy reds, the Megans, the Cardis, the Nickies. It's nothing but debaucherous acts that keep perpetuating wickedness and vile lewd behavior in our communities. Show me Taylor Swift shaking ass and teaching that of white girls. Show me the K-pop stars, I don't know their names, but the, you know, Asian chicks, talking about just shaking ass and jumping from rod to rod and teaching that to the Asian community. But yet our women want to do that. Our women want to sit up here and then fight us when we're trying to correct them. Why do you want to fight correction? When your mama used to beat your ass, you didn't cry about it. You took that correction. You grew up and said, oh, that's why I got my ass whipped. I understand now. But now that you've grown, you think nobody should tell you nothing. So when we come out here and tell y'all, hey, just cover up for your safety, y'all look at us like we hateful. How? How are we hateful when we actually love y'all? That's why we out here. If we didn't love y'all, we wouldn't be out here telling you to cover up, to come back to these law, statutes, and commandments, to tell you to, hey, you know what? If you can't find a man, just keep doing what you got to do within your hour, and maybe you'll get a man to protect you and your household. But instead, y'all want to keep playing these games, the same games that Esau gave to y'all, and y'all think it's all good. What's that precept you had, Ock? This is the book of Syrac, 25 and 16. I'm going to use that for in a little bit. You got that in Proverbs? It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 31, verse 10. And all these women say they're Proverbs 31 women, but I have yet to see the qualities of these people, of these women out here. They'll, they'll be, look, these, these chicks will be whole strippers. And on the first thing you see on the Instagram bio, God first, Proverbs 31 woman. And this chick is out here getting her back blown out in the strip club every night. But she's a Proverbs 31 woman. Book of Proverbs chapter 31 verse 10. Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. It's far above rubies. Finding a virtuous woman to, so to the brothers that are in the camp that got wives, they have found something more precious and virtuous than rubies. It's worth more than gold, diamond, rubies to have a virtuous wife, 
to have a woman that actually follows the law, statutes, and commandments, a woman that actually knows how to be submissive to her husband and not bite back, always with the talking. You come home, and we ain't trying to hear all that. You come home, you tired from work, you already got to deal with Esau as your boss all day. Why do we want to come home and hear that as men? But y'all, this is what y'all want to do. But you don't talk like that to your white boss at work. He tell you, hey, uh, LaShondra, get your ass up. Move that desk over there. And the first thing they do is, oh, yes, master. But you be like, hey, baby, I just need a sandwich. Nigga, I ain't making no sandwich. Why? Why y'all do that to us, but not to the white man who actually raped you, destroyed you, destroyed your husbands, destroyed your kids? The Elamite women don't do that. Why our women got to do it? It's madness. Read. Come. Verse 11. The hurt of her husband do have safely trust in her, so that he shall have no need of spoil. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. You see that? But the so-called black woman, all she's doing now is nothing but damn evil. The so-called Hispanic woman is doing nothing but damn evil. They said that a virtuous woman, uh, a Proverbs 31 woman is going to do good to her husband. How many of you women can actually say, y'all do good to your husband? How many? But yet, y'all all go to church. Y'all all will be, you know, with your, with your big ass hats and, and tight dresses in the church. You know who they good to? The pastor. That's who they're good to. They're good to the dude who's sitting up there lying to them, telling them to eat pork chops, telling them to keep eating crab boils, telling them to worship Mother's Day and all that. They're good to that man, the man that lies to them. But not the man that's at home suffering and enduring and doing the things that he got to do as a man and as a husband for his family. It's madness. Go, you on all verse now. Go ahead and read. Verse 13. She seeketh wool and flax, and worketh willingly with her hands. She doeth what? And worketh willingly with her hands. Yeah, she worketh with her hands. Our foremothers, uh, here, look, damn, finished. How you doing, sir? You look finished on this night. Are you finished? Yeah, he's finished. So our, our foremothers used to do work with their hands. They used to make oils. They used to, you know, do uh, make soaps. Oils, cook, uh, weave clothing, cook all different types of, you know, righteous food for us. They used to do these things that would benefit us and our communities. What is the good that the so-called black, Hispanic, and native woman is doing with her hands now? She's not doing no good. She's doing evil. You know what she's doing with her hands? I'll tell y'all, and y'all can take it on either, or either context. She's using both hands to go up and down poles. That's what she's doing. Strip club, and y'all know the other. I ain't got to go too deep into it. That's what the so-called black, Hispanic, and native woman is doing. She's not using her hands to do good. Now she want to sit up here and use her hands to, to be on rods, to be hiding her man's biscuit. Her man go and catch a body. He, hey, baby, stash the biscuit. And she, okay. That's what the so-called black, Hispanic, and native woman want to do now. It's nothing but evil. Play your little dumbass sexy words. Play your little dumbass Megan Thee Stallions, and you think that's cool. You think that's nice. It's madness. Yeah, and that sister out there, she was looking out the co window. Come talk to us. They get mad when we speak like this, but we got to keep the truth. Hermano, puedo hablar con ustedes dos minutos? Come on, hermano. Yo te hice algo. Come on, man. Y ese es el problema de los latinos que no quieren escuchar la palabra de Dios. Pero si yo fuera un blanquito, ahí sí, ¿vale? Ahí sí me, me, me habla. I'm sick and tired of the Northern Kingdom, yo. I'm really about to be like Nehemiah to, towards the Northern Kingdom. Because they ain't really pissed me off. But yeah, back to uh, you are uh, verse 14, right? Con, let me get verse 14. Proverbs chapter 31, verse 14. She is like the merchant ships. She bringeth her food from afar. She riseth also while it is yet night and giveth meat to her household and a portion to her maidens. See that? So our foremothers were actually, you know, women that were very caring and endearing to the household and to the communities. Because not only did she give the portion to her husband and to the house, she gave it to her maidens. You feel me? Those are her servants. Those are her sisters. So she's sitting there, she's, hey, here's a portion for my family, and here's for y'all. Y'all working hard too. 
And guess what that does? Guess what that teaches those sisters? To reciprocate the same thing within their sisters. It's called charity. It's called charity. So when our sisters actually do good, guess what happens? The other sisters start learning well too. Same thing with the men. Once the brothers, we start unifying and showing brotherly love, then the other brothers can come out here and say, you know what, this is right. Because all, all these gangs and shit, all the gang banging, you know, for all the years that's been going on, it ain't been working. But this Bible's been bringing us, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and natives together, unifying us. So the same thing with the women. They down here come out and teach good, the women will do good. But instead, all we see is nothing but madness. Sister, can I talk to you for two minutes? You see that? It, once again, it's always our people. It's always our women that never have time for the word of the Lord. It's always our women who are out here thugged out, drunk, drugged, slutted out, all madness. And yet, we got to sit here and deal with this. You think us men, we want to sit up here and deal with this? You know how many brothers and uh, got daughters out here? You know the hell my father goes through with my sister? It's madness. And yet these are the things that our people want to perpetuate. This is the madness that our women want to perpetuate. So they do evil with their hands now. They're no longer doing good. They're doing nothing but evil things, smoking blunts, doing their makeup for 15 hours for nothing, just for the rain to smack it off and you look ugly as hell. Another Decepticon. Yeah, or that. Oh, yeah, yeah, or she get her face pushed in. It's madness. You got that in Sarat? And you know, we come out here once again because we love our people. That's why we tell the so-called black man, pick your, pants up, uh, pick your pants up and stop smoking blunts. Hey, brother, sister, y'all got a minute for the word? All right, video shoots. That's all our people care about. Money, video shoots, you know, this quote-unquote new age black culture, which is trash, to be honest. We ain't in a culture at all. It's the, it's the only the things that the white man gave you. He took away your culture and gave you a camera and said, here you go, nigga. Video shoots. He takes away your culture and says, here you go, nigga. He's a blunt. Have at it. And that's all you need to keep the so-called black man satisfied in America. Same thing with the Hispanic and native. Give him a blunt, a bottle, and a camera. He good to go. And maybe one of these so he can have the disco lights. And Perico. Yeah, all that. Give him all the things that will lead him astray and he will be out here doing whatever he wants, thinking it's all good. But it's madness. And so the men, once again, we gotta gut up our loins, tighten up so then our women tighten up. But a lot of you niggas is soft. A lot of you niggas is simps out here. The so-called black man has became a soft ass nigga. The so-called Hispanic man has became a soft ass nigga when it comes to actually running his household. The so-called Hispanic man lets his wife run him. The so-called black man lets his wife run him. Where'd you learn that from? You learned that from the damn white man. Only the white man says some devil ass shit like, happy wife, happy life. Nah. Shut up, devil. It's not happy wife, happy li uh, life. It's if happy man in the house shall stand. He didn't say nothing. He couldn't, you see, he, he's so weak he can't defend his own rib. Effeminate. And guess what? That's how the black man is now. He followed after that white man, and now he's became a feminine. So now when his wife... You okay, brother? He about to tear something up. Yeah, it's Legion. He hold, yo, he was about to... Yeah, he, he, hey, that, that brother might catch a body tonight. The, hey, the Lord put his spit on that brother. He might catch a body tonight. Yeah. Yeah, he about to catch a body tonight. That that dude look pissed off. Oh, dang, he gonna eat a whole body. Hey, and that's what's gonna happen. Somebody gonna, yeah. Somebody gonna get killed tonight, and somebody gonna get ate tonight. Madness out here. You got that Ock and Ciroc con. This is this is Ciroc 25 and, tw and 16. Yeah, come talk to us for two minutes. Well, real quick, where y'all from? Where y'all from? 
Ohio, I'm like ethnic wise. Are you, are you Polish, Scottish, Swedish, half Portuguese? Anglo Saxon. Y'all? Usted es mexicana. And you, where you from? Portuguese? Portuguesa. Portuguesa. Okay. So, usted, real quick. El padre tuyo fue indígena o fue de España? Uh huh. De España, so we got Spaniard. Okay. So, real quick, can I just ask you, as a, and you, you say you're Portugal, Portuguese, right? So, real quick. How do y'all feel about the things that your forefathers did to our forefathers? So that's a Taino, I'm a Taino, he's a native. How did how do y'all how did your forefathers feel? How do you feel about the things that your forefathers did to our ancestors when they came to the Americas? Is it tragic it's tragic? You? It's tragic. I mean I'm asking these questions because these are things that don't get brought up. You see, they want to show this. This happened to my so-called black brothers, and I say so-called because nobody's this color. We're different shades of brown, right? This happened to my so-called black brothers, but this also happened to the so, you know, so-called Mexicans, the Aztecas, los Incas, también los Taínos. Esto pasó a ellos, right? So, what do you think should happen for the people that did that? Do y'all believe in the Bible? Y'all do? It's up to God. Hey, you know, I like that answer. Hey, clap it up for Esau. I like that. That's a good answer. Can we show you what it's what it says in the Bible? You said it's up to God. Yeah, Esau. Yes. yes. All of you are Edomites. But let's show look. How is it derogatory? Hold on, hold up. We're Jacob. That's a name, right? Esau's a name, right? So how is it derogatory? It's not like I well, that still wouldn't be that still wouldn't be derogatory. That still wouldn't be derogatory. That still wouldn't be derogatory. Let's read to y'all what the Bible says. Do you have me Isaiah 14 and 21? Let me get Revelation 13 and 10. We're gonna show you real quick what the Bible says. Hold up, back up real quick, six feet. Yeah, you allow you're allowed to be be here. Just back up. Look, let's let, let me get y'all what the Bible says real quick. Yeah, 13 to 10. You said it's up to God, right? Portuguese man, you said it's up to God. Let's see what the Bible says. Read. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. So, para todos ustedes españoles, ustedes tienen que pagar por todo lo que ustedes hicieron en nuestra gente. I don't give a damn about no Spaniards. I hate y'all for everything that y'all did to my people. Him, hey, but look, you say it's up to God. Guess what? It is, it is up to God. It is up to Yahweh. And Yahweh said that you gotta pay for your crimes. Damn devils. Hey, pero hablar con ustedes dos minutos, mi gente.